match. But the only thing I can say is, and I, and I, I try to equate it this way: if FPNL has a plan for people like the city, uh, they say, you know, if you want, if you can't budget, and instead of paying two hundred dollars in the winter and four hundred dollars in the summer, you can pay three hundred dollars every month. Well, had the city followed that, and if every month they put the contributions, in, or every year they put the contributions in, based on what they budgeted, we would be fine. Mm -hmm. There would be none of this. So, uh, once again, we'll take the hit and we'll take the blame, but the bottom line is our pension plan in itself, at 78% funding, is in good shape. Mm -hmm. There's a high bill this, this next year or two, but it's not anything uncommon, and it's not anything that, that over a 20-year average, that's out of the ordinary. So I think that uh, there are going to be probably some minor changes to, to reduce the liability to the city, uh, bring in more income to the plan, and we're doing the best we can. The problem is, is uh, you really you can't change it drastically and expect to keep what you have. I mean, that's the balancing act. Because the other agencies also have... Similar our, benefits, you're saying? Uh, our benefits attached to our pension are the lowest in the county for any municipality. Everyone's pension is better than ours, municipal pension. Now, how they fund them, that's, I don't know how they do it, but they do it. So it depends on what your priorities are. Well, what do you think the public wants? What do I think the public wants? I think they want a professional to show up when they call for help. And I think that they really want somebody that, instead of running away, is going to go in there and do what they need to do. And I think that's what you get in Fort Lauderdale. Um, does, it, does the public want to pay 48% of salary into the pension? No. Um, but you can't blame us, uh, and, and it gets tiring. And the Miami City Manager, a couple years ago, there was an article, maybe in your paper, where he said it was our fault. Now, we got to fix it and everything else, mm -hmm. but had we put in a contingency fund what we budgeted, we would have no issues pertaining to the pension. And I, you know, unfortunately, my members are the ones that are uh, looked at in a bad light, you know, because it is expensive this year. Mm -hmm. But you didn't run this story in 2000 when it was 9.8%. When I contributed 7% mm -hmm. and the city's contribution was 9.8%, you didn't run this story. Nobody cared. So, yeah, but it's not just a Fort Lauderdale issue. I mean, um, there's been, I mean, if you read the, the comments from the public whenever we write about about um, police salaries, police and fire pensions, and that sort of thing, um, you know, there there are a lot of comments on there from people saying that they think that that the benefits are too rich, and you know that this isn't, you know, we can't afford this, and that kind of thing. Um, well. <laughs> It might be. How do we how do we negotiate a contract? Yeah. We negotiate. We do a salary survey and a benefit survey, and we compare ourselves to comparable cities. How do you tell your employer how much to pay you? You get paid based on what reporters they don't pay. listen to. <laughs> well, you get paid. I mean, how does a yeah. lawyer? Figure no, out? I know what you're saying so is that if you, you think there's truly a problem. Yeah. The, the, only, the only thing I can tell you is petition the other 28 municipalities and tell them knock it off, because you can't be last in this game. It yeah. Really, it's a it's. I've well, never. What, I mean, has there been discussion of reducing, you know, pensions, but increasing something else that's that's considered a perk? You know, I mean. No, you you would write a story about any increase in anything. So <laughs> what, would, what would the difference be? But I mean, you know, it would be a. Everything is a give and take and a negotiation, so uh, yes. isn't there something else that, that the police want that, you know, where well, where it wouldn't, you know, where Fort Lauderdale stays competitive? I, I don't know what you guys are discussing. Well, like, what we want or what we deserve are two different things, yeah. and, and we, we understand the economy, so we don't, we don't ask for what we want. Um, we ask for what we deserve and what we've earned, and if you just look at our pension alone, when 